After a series of attacks from the Sussexes, it seemed that the royal family could no longer tolerate it. It is known that Will has ordered a lawsuit against Harry after he disclosed the secret royal dealings for personal gain. This has gone too far. Prince William will never trust Harry again, a friend has told the Daily Beast, after Prince Harry revealed details of a very large phone hacking settlement William got from newsgroup newspapers, NGN, and accused his brother of being party to a secret deal made by his family with his media tormentors. Harry made the revelation that William had got the secret payout, said to be in excess of $1 million, in a witness statement supporting his own legal action against the Murdoch family-owned publisher of UK papers The Sun and The Times for phone hacking. A friend of Prince William's told The Daily Beast, just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. This is scorched earth stuff from Harry. By revealing these secrets, he is burning everything to the ground. He is making it very clear that he considers his relationship with William is over. Asked how William was reacting to Harry's statement, of which he had no foreknowledge or warning, the friend said, William will never trust Harry again. How could he? The truth is William absolutely hates Harry now and will never forgive him for the damage he has done to the family. The brothers were so close when they were younger that it is just incredible to those of us who knew them back then that they have reached a stage where Harry is revealing his brother's confidential legal settlements. The Daily Beast understands that Prince William, and indeed the wider royal family, had no idea what was in Harry's witness statement until the document was unsealed at the High Court. A friend of King Charles told the Daily Beast that his default position will always be to try and keep the door open to his younger son, despite the fact that he believes his actions to be misguided. Charles has been through an enormous amount himself, and he does have a deep sympathy for Harry, who he adores, the friend said. While Charles seems determined to continue to ignore the provocations of Harry, William appears to have had enough and the astonishingly inflammatory paragraph in Harry's witness statement looks like it could be the final straw. Piers Morgan has called on the royal family to take legal action against Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in a scathing attack on the Sussexes ahead of the King's coronation. The talk TV host told viewers that the royals should sue Prince Harry for invading their privacy as the damage inflicted on the firm by the Duke of Sussex and the former Suits actress is very clear. Hosting Sky News Australia, the former Good Morning Britain anchor said, Two of our youngest royals have waged a three-year war on the institution, they've weaponized a culture of validation from victimhood. Prince Harry has launched another privacy-shattering projectile at his family, newspaper front pages have plastered with details of a private settlement, even on the eve of the coronation, he has chosen to cause deep embarrassment and potential harm to his family. This comes in the run-up to the historic coronation of King Charles III. It'll be the first ceremony of its kind since 1953. The California-based father of two will be in attendance for the show-stopping event, however his wife and children will remain in the United States. There is some speculation as to whether the 38-year-old will leave the UK within 24 hours of arriving, as May 6 is his son's birthday as well as coronation day. An old friend of Prince William told the Daily Beast's Tom Sykes, if he comes for less than 24 hours, it's a massive dis really. You know, tell us how you really feel, Harry. It has been reported that Harry could stay at Frogmore Cottage for a few days following the coronation to try and reconcile the fractured relationships he has with the rest of his family. However doing so would involve missing Archie's fourth birthday party and upsetting Ms. Markle. The choice was described by one royal commentator, Daniela Elza for news.com.au, as hellish.
reported that Harry could stay at Frogmore Cottage for a few days following the coronation to try and reconcile the fractured relationships he has with the rest of his family. However doing so would involve missing Archie's fourth birthday party and upsetting Ms. Markle. The choice was described by one royal commentator, Danielle Elzer for news.com.au, as hellish.